Access to safe and reliable electricity falls within the basic needs of any burgeoning community. Ideally, it should go together with other infrastructure works, including the building of new roads as well as access to potable water. For an established village such as Kaupen, one would have thought that electricity had been introduced here decades ago. Regrettably, that wasn't the case until fairly recently, when the European Union partnered with the government of Belize and Belize Electricity Limited to bring power to the many homes and banana farms in South Stan Creek. This is part of the European Union's uh, uh, support to uh, banana producers and communities working and living uh, in this banana belt. Uh, we've been working on this for uh, over a decade and the European Union is very committed to making a difference for banana growers and for people living, in, 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 uh, living and working in this community. The Rural Electrification Project has seen an extension of the national electricity grid. The objective is to improve the quality of life for residents. It also aims to strengthen the local productive sector, in this case, the banana belt. We've seen a significant um, decrease in cost with, uh, regarding the, the fuel that we used to buy before. It used to be um, like about 2,800. Now we are only spending with electricity about 1,600. So we've seen a decrease just in fuel uh, cost, about 40%. And uh, we, we think that it, it has come to, to benefit us a lot as well. We've also seen a big benefit that um, complying with all the global gap uh, that we, we do get every year, uh, we don't have to be storing um, a lot of fuel again. We have a backup generator, but it's only a few gallons that we need to store. Not before, we used to store like about 2,000 gallons. So that's even safer for everybody working around the packing shed as well. Here at Go Banana 2, that's a few dozen employees. They report to work daily to process and package several tons of bananas for export to the global market through fives. It's manual labor, which involves receiving green bananas in bunches, cutting them into hands and washing them, before bagging and boxing them as a finished product. Up until April of this year, workers had been toiling under exposure to air and noise pollution while using fuel generators. From an environmental perspective, how beneficial has this been to your operations here? Well, definitely it has made an impact because we don't have no um, air pollution again. Uh, we were having some difficulty in having measures, measuring the, the sound uh, from the generator to our employees as well. So we don't have to do that evaluation again because uh, electricity is so quiet, it's so peaceful. Belize Electricity Limited, as the implementing agency, has incorporated the Rural Electrification Project into its existing expansion program. Vanetta Burrell is BL's public relations manager. BL has a system expansion program that aims to meet our target of providing access to customers to match 98% coverage across the country. Currently, 92% of our population has access to safe and reliable power from BEL. And we aim that by 2020, 98% of customers in Belize can access our, our supply. So today, the investment made by the European Union with the support of the government of Belize that was implemented by BL through our own contributions is a part of a $40 million project that started in 2014 and will continue through to 2020. A total of 500 households and 13 banana farms in as many as 27 communities in the south are now benefiting from access to the national grid. Candelara Ical has been living in Kaupen for 16 years without electricity. Sometimes my children, my kids don't go to school doing homeworks. But right now, um, I get up early in the morning and I do everything out of my work. So I try to send them to go to school at the correct time. How long were you without electricity and how has this been able to benefit your home? 16 years and I have no electricity and right now I have electricity so everything is changed. Today's visit by the EU ambassador gives a first an experience of the challenges endured by residents and businesses within the banana belt. It is uh, a particular joy and pleasure for me to meet people from the community as well as to visit the farm and see and understand how European taxpayers money is making a difference in people's lives. Having electricity uh, today for many of us is something we take for granted. Putting the light on, using a fridge, being able to plug in your computer or your phone for a charging. 
Um, and many of these people didn't have it. So uh, it, it, it has already brought a huge difference in their lives. Reporting for News 5, I am Isana Kayatano.